Hi, welcome to Coder Dojo Virtual Edition. My name is Lori. This is week five of our recordings for Introduction to Coding. Each week we will build on the things we've learned in the previous weeks. So if you're just tuning in now, you may want to go back and review weeks one through four so that you have the underlying skills to proceed in this week's lesson. So let's get ready to code music. I'm going to start by naming this project. It's going to be called Making Music. Over here on the stage area, I don't want a sprite, so we're going to get rid of that cat sprite. And we're going to choose a musical instrument. Go up to the top, choose music. Right here, I think I'm going to use a drum today. Perfect. We've got our drum sitting in a blank backdrop, so let's address that. Go to the backdrop area here. We want to choose an indoor backdrop, and I think for the purpose of music, we're going to go to a theater. There's our drum floating there. We're going to bring it down and set it on the stage. The next thing we have to do in order to code music is we have to go down here and add an extension. So down here in the bottom left hand corner is a blue add extension. And we're going to go here where it says music. Click on that and you can see that we now have code buttons, code blocks for making music. Let's make sure our drum sprite is highlighted, and it is, and now we're gonna be able to begin to code. We'll put some coding blocks into the script area. First of all, we're gonna start with when this sprite is clicked. So that's how we want the music to begin, is if we click on the drum, we want it to play. So in the events code buttons, we're going to find when this sprite is clicked, and we'll drag that right over to our script area. The next block of code we want to use is from the music code that we just installed. And we're going to choose play drum for a duration of time. And, and I, I like playing it for 0.25 beats. Let's click the drum and see if our code has worked. So a very quick note. Let's experiment a bit with our drum. You'll see here it says play drum and we have snare drum. If you click on this, you'll see a drop down menu with many, many different sounds that you can have your drum play. Let's try wood block. Can you also get the drum to make a sound when the space bar is pressed? You'll need to go to the events block. And I think you can see quite clearly here that instead of when sprite is clicked, we'll first we'll separate these, take that away. We'll use when space is clicked. Okay. Let's see if that works when we hit the space bar. Let's add a singer to our stage. We'll go to the sprite icon here. Let's choose people and scroll down to where we have a singer. Before we can make the singer sing, we're going to have to add sound to our singer sprite. So make sure your singer sprite is highlighted down here. Notice that there's a sound tab at the top here now. So we'll click on the sound tab. We can choose from many different sounds. We'll go up to the top here and choose voice. Just to keep it simple for today. 
our voice will be singer one. To use this sound, we'll turn back to the code. We're going to have to do an events code that says when this sprite is clicked, that's how we want her to sing. We're now gonna to go to the sound blocks and we're going to say play sound. You can see singer one until done slide that under here and let's see if our singer actually does sing perfect we want now to make our drum look like it's actually playing as well so with the drum sprite as with several of the other sprites there are actually two sprites that show up in our possibility of sprites so when we click on drum A, we can see that there's actually a drum B as well. So if drum A is the starting point with no action in the drumsticks, drum B has these little lines here that makes it seem like the drum is actually playing. So we've now got drum A and drum B. Let's see what our code needs to look like. We're gonna start here with drum A, or switch costume two, right under here. But we're gonna say drum A. Then we want it to play the snare drum. And then we're going to switch the costume. Now we're going to animate our sprite to make it look like she's actually singing by opening and closing her mouth. So what we do is we go to the sprite and we right click her, hit duplicate. Now we have a second singer. So the first singer, mouth open, she's singing. We want the second singer to have a closed mouth like she's no longer singing. In order to do that, you're gonna get creative and draw on the sprite. So first off, click this blue arrow here, and we want to highlight her mouth, and we want to delete that mouth. Didn't quite delete it all. There, so there were two layers to her mouth, the inside and the outside. We now have them gone. Um, I'm actually going to delete her eyes as well, because we're gonna try to draw on eyes that are more open. So we now have a singer with no eyes and a mouth. This is where we get creative. Hit the paintbrush and I have the paintbrush set at two because we want a thinner line and I'm going to draw a very basic black line for a mouth. And now I'm going to try to draw some eyes. Maybe a little too far on the side of her head, but it'll do for now. Okay, it's not perfect, but you get the idea. So this is now singer two, and here's singer one. So she's singing, singer two, she's not. Let's go back to do the coding to be able to have our singer look like she's actually singing. So we're gonna start out singer number one. We want to hit the events button and we're gonna say when this sprite is clicked, drag that over to the script area. Next, we wanna make sure that we have singer number one at the beginning. So we're going to hit the looks. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Switch costume to singer number one. We want it to start out with her singing. We're going to have her 
play it, sing a sound. So play sound with singer number one until done. And then we're going to switch the costume, so in the looks, to singer number two. What we hope will happen here is that we'll start out with singer number one. And then switch to singer number two. Let's see if it works. Perfect. Now I didn't realize that I had when spacebar is clicked, and so I was clicking on the um, sprite. But if we do it again, when spacebar is clicked, she sings and then closes her mouth. So we've now animated her to look like she's singing. Let's go back to our drum now and try to animate it so it looks like it's actually being played. Let's highlight our drum. And when we go up to costumes, we have a pleasant surprise. And that is that there are two drums listed in our sprite library. So drum A is this one here where the drumsticks are inactive and drum B shows motion on the drum. So now we have drum A and drum B loaded. We'll go back and code our drum. So once again, make sure your drum is highlighted. We're going to say when sprite is clicked, we what do we want it to look like? Well, we want costume B because we want it to look like the drum is playing. We'll add the sound play. sound until done and then we want it to look like it's not playing anymore so switch costume to drum a what we're hoping will happen is when we click the drum it will show some motion in the drumsticks it will then play and then switch back to no motion let's see just as we had hoped. You'll see that I've added some code to the drum. What I did was add a repeat loop. And in the repeat loop, I've put five times so that now our drum will beat five times. I want it to play the sound, then switch to drum B, which shows motion, and continue doing that each time the drum is hit. After it's repeated in this loop five times, I want the costume to switch back to drum A. Let's see if it works. Just as we had planned. So now we've learned how to animate our singer to make it look like the sound is coming from her mouth. We've animated our drum. What could you do to your band? Why don't you try to add other instruments, perhaps other singers? You can actually embed your own sound, voices, singing instruments into the Scratch program. This week, let's see how many instruments and singers you can have happening on your stage all at the same time. Thank you.